All right, y'all, we're back in Honduras and just want to do a quick little update on what we've been doing here. So it's time to fell all these Cecropia trees um, and let some sunlight come in for um, the next succession of trees. Timing is a little bit um, tricky in the sense that the, the dry season is right about to start. And um, I guess it would technically be nice to have a little bit more of the Cecropia canopy helping to shade things all um, dry season long. But I feel fairly confident in the fact that there are so many other trees that are, are already up and established that we can get away with um, taking out the Cecropias um, and letting the other trees just come up. There's plenty of Guazuma omifolias, there's plenty of guavas at this point, there's plenty of trees to take their place. So technically speaking, it would be nice to leave some more coverage for the, for the dry season. But um, it's also nice to just be one step ahead of the agroforestry management oftentimes, especially here in the tropics where we don't have to deal with any frost during the, during the winter like we do in Florida. Um, we're, we're kind of, we have the green light here in the, in the real tropics to, to go ahead and just carry forward with, with managing bigger trees um, during the dry season. So that's what we're doing, and we're placing all the Cecropia biomass on contour, so to speak, you know, pretty much roughly, uh, so that when water comes down, um, sediment can get trapped there and the water can slow down a little bit. So we'll kind of just take a little walkthrough of what Gonzalo has been doing these past couple of days.
I've been a little bit just more on vacation mode on this trip, so I haven't been doing much. I got a little sick as well, so I'm definitely trying to not do much. But Gonzalo has really, really good uh, idea of what the project is all about. So he's he's handling this all himself. He, he's, he, he knows the deal. So the idea is we're just letting in more light for all these other species that are just already plenty established. Um, everyone in the village has been asking me when I'm going to take away those trees. The people, the villagers here, the farmers here really hate the Cecropia trees because of how fast they grow and how much ants are, are harbored inside of them. And it's just a pain in the butt for a lot of farmers here. So a lot of the farmers are seeing that we're starting to take them down. They're like, finally, geez, take you long enough. <laughs> um, so... Uh, yeah, really thankful for the Cecropias, of course, but their time has finally come, and, um, and yeah, it feels really nice to be, it feels like a, a milestone, almost, you know, we're finally at the point where we can take out all these Cecropias and not really feel like it's gonna damage the, the, the system, so here's some more kind of put them on the downhill side of some certain trees so here's the uh uh mahogany Honduran mahogany so when the rain comes down boom it kind of gets trapped there and some of the water and nutrients stay so here we have a negrito tree really love this tree very established you know mango at this point so a lot of these trees were in the past few couple like past couple years i did feel a little hesitant on taking away their 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 nursery shelter of cecropias now i don't feel that anymore sure there are still some small trees that might benefit from them but all these seeds i've been planting so far have been free you know pretty much so it's it's not like they're a bunch of high value grafted trees that need that protection so there's the azteca ants doing their thing not liking the fact that their homes are getting destroyed but has to be done. Here's a Nancy, beautiful Nancy. And so, yeah, like I said, all these, uh, there's plenty of, of, of guavas. There's plenty of other trees now that are creating that canopy. So um, we can go ahead and, and put a number on these uh, Cecropias. So I think it's just kind of cool visually how it looks to see all the Cecropia trunks like lined, lined up like this little mini tiny micro dams going down downhill some more there some more up there it's not much but it's, it's enough and the reality is as much as i do love cecropias the reality is, is that they they don't really produce the, the best amount of biomass or the most high quality type of biomass and you know they're hollow so well, not hollow, but they do have those little segments like bamboo, but they're really low quality in, in the, compared to the guavas that are coming up and some of the other next succession species. So we're happy to see the Cecropias finally start, start leaving the system and um, get making way for, for the rest of the trees that are coming up. Guapinol. So that's it. There's, you know... There's a lot more I can I can say, but this trip is a relatively short one, and I didn't really do much down here. Like I said, I was more on vacation status, but I did want to show these little these little Cecropia mini 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 dams because I think they're just cool looking on the ground. And that's the whole thing with with agroforestry, you know, you just little little bits of managing all the time and it's just slowly but surely working in the direction of of abundance so sometimes it's really neat to see those cool big time agroforestry managements where all the material gets down put down at once and it's just this massive barricade of, of organic matter you know but sometimes it's just a slow and steady drip that, as well it's kind of multiple ways to do to do the same thing you know and we're kind of doing a little bit of a 
slow drip agroforestry here over a long period of time. Here we have a little mango. So, you know, it's helping a little bit whenever it does rain or whatever, that rain will sort of just slow down the tiniest bit. But here you can see some more. And we also, we, we started doing the Cecropia managing a few months ago, like in November. So you can see kind of how quickly they respond. These are the ones that we cut uh, a few months, like I think in November. So maybe like two months ago. And you see how quickly they respond. And, oh man, the Azteca ants are all over the place. Yeah, giving more more sunlight and more priority to these other trees is cashew. Cashews are flowering. Cashews are flowering really nicely. Gonzalo said there was an, a lot of cashew fruit this season. I was in here in May, in May where when they fruit. So, so yeah, you can see just how quickly the Socropia respond. They do not, you know, care about getting i'm pretty sure i did these with the with the chainsaw these were some big boys um you know they don't care about getting pruned back that they're gonna come right back up and so um before they got any bigger and before they could do any damage to trees we uh we're, we're bringing them down and cycling them so that the other long-term trees can can grow without any without any impediment and sometimes when they grow they kind of phase themselves out at the same time, I've been seeing this in areas, especially where there's more shade. They'll come up, but they will just start kind of dying on, them, on themselves, which is a good sign. If you see that your emergent trees, your very early succession species trees are coming back, but they're not coming back with full vigor, then that means the system is going to the next stage, which is what we want here. But that's about it. A couple action shots of Gonzalo. Um, chopping down the, the sacropias with the machete and some of the effects you can see and then obviously i always talk about this all the time but the little stubs those are good for birds to perch on and drop us some higher quality seeds of some other cool trees which is often the case especially here, out here in the tropics so we like these we like these little nubbins they're good for the birdies. So who knows? In a few months, we'll maybe see some, some cool little seedlings <clears throat> come up from there. So that's about it. Cecropia managing and making way for the next succession of awesome trees. That's it. Peace.